God is good. He's looking for somebody to bless. God loves to bless his people. Those who are obedient to his word. He blesses them. That's why anytime he calls somebody, he says, walk before me. Walk in my holiness. And I, the Lord, I will bless you. And I, the Lord, I will fight for you. Hallelujah. And I see victory in your side. This God, God is fighting for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Israel is about to enter into the next level. They have walked around the wilderness for 39 good years. A journey that was going to take them 40 days. Now they have reached to a place called Moab. And when they got there, the Lord told Moses, Moses, go to this mountain called Gerizim and declare my blessing to the people. If they will obey my word and keep my commandment, this blessing that you are going to release to them shall surely come to pass. Now Moses stood there and called all the leaders and all the congregation. And he read Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 to 14 for their hearing. After he has finished, God said, take the people again to the other side of the mountain called Mount Ebel. Now proclaim the curses so that they will hear. And Moses began also to read the curses from 15 all the way to 68. And the curses were a lot. So God told them, that if you walk in my ways, then this blessings will accompany you. Praise the Lord. And today, this word is for us. It's for every child of God. God gave them two things. He gave them life and death. Which one you want to choose? If you choose God, you have chosen life. And that life will give you eternity eternal life. If you choose death, you have chosen destruction. So God gave it to them that day. Hallelujah. So they were waiting for one year. A one year that would take them like hours to move to their other level or to the other place or Cana. But he has to take them one year. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says it shall surely come to pass. That means God will bring it to pass. That means no power, no evil hands, no demonic forces in the heavenly realms. They are more powerful than demonic forces in the sea. Hallelujah. That's why they are in the heavenly realms. So that they can stop what God has for you. So God is saying that it shall surely come to pass. If today you will diligently listen to this word that I am giving to you. And you will obey it. You will carefully obey. That's why he used the word carefully. Because there are other doctrines over there. Satanic doctrines are there. Ba is there. Asher is there. Dagon is there. So God is warning us that if we make this word number one in our life, if we begin to meditate it, if you begin to ponder over it, if you begin to cherish the word of God, God said today, I the Lord, I have promised you, I am going to open heaven so that that blessing that I have said, it will come to you. Are you ready for the blessings of God? Are you ready? Then let this book 
Be number one in your life. Cherish the word of God. Take it serious. If you want God to open the door that the enemy has closed and the enemy has put your key in deep sea or in the heavenly realms, God doesn't need any key. He just speak one word and it will open. It's good. He is looking for somebody to bless him today. Today, if you open your heart and take this word of God, I said that blessing will come. Mm. That he told Joshua. He said, Joshua, if you want to see prosperity, if you want to see good success in my word, then steady my word. It will come. It's not your hard work. God can connect you to somebody that can bring you millions of dollars. I told you while I was in the Bible schools, uh, there was a billionaire who came and gave 10 million dollars to a pastor at the church. I said, may that anointing, may it find your house, may God connect you to the divine helper. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, you'll be blessed if you obey my way today. Hallelujah. Then it says, you'll be blessed in the city and you'll be blessed in the country. That means there's no geographical limitation. My God. Ah. Mm. Today, I prophesy into your life. I speak the oracle of God into your life. I should study the word of God. I should burn over the word of God. I should meditate the word of God. This infallible word of God will work miracle. Say miracle. Miracle. Financial miracle. May it surprise you. May God surprise you. My God, my God. May that bless him. May God connect you to his heavenly funnel so that you will never lack of anything from today as you are serious with the things of God. May that door that has been shut by satanic forces, may God open it. May God open it. The reason why we don't see the manifestation of God in our lives. You see, most of the time, we think that when we come to the house of God, then we begin to charge, to charge, to study the way. Then the blessings will come. It doesn't come like that. It comes when you start from your house. Hallelujah. It comes when you start meditating the word of God from your house. Worshipping God in your house. In your car. Hallelujah. In your car. With your children. You worship God. He worship God. I worship God. So when we come here, it becomes a bonfire. Our praise. Our worship. It comes down. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example. When Solomon has finished building the temple. The people saw it. The Jews saw it. And everybody was praising God in their house. They were worshipping God in their house. They were thanking God for the temple. So when they entered into the temple, they were with what? One heart, one mind, one purpose. So when Asa, who is a psalmist, began to worship God, began to praise God, the Bible said, and the spirit of God, the glory of God, filled the whole place like a smoke. And they couldn't do anything. Why? Because he has worshipped God. He has worshipped God. I have worshipped God. So when we come, it becomes a bonfire and the presence of God will come. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. Until you start from your home. I prophesy into your life that your body, God will touch every fiber of you. When God says, bless shall you be on your body. He take care of your body. He take care of your body. He take care of sickness. He take care of accident. He take care of a lot of things in your life. And your children will be great in the land. 